Hey everybody, I'm here with Meg, May Baby Tumblr today for round two of her hair color. So today I'm gonna show you how to get ombre hair color without doing more highlights. Yeah, so my roots were kind of growing in, so I came in and was like, okay, I want to make it a bit darker up here and that way it'll look like more ombre. And also darker because it's like getting towards Christmas and winter months, so that fits nicely. And but also keep the ends light because I really like how they are right now. Yeah, cool, so let's do it. Okay, so first I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to apply your root hair color, okay? Really simple. Take a part down the middle. Okay, take a part down the middle, get a little stuff on your brush, color in your brush, <laughs> pull it out, right? Now take the back of your brush, take about a half an inch wide section, pull it apart, Take your color in your brush, apply, okay? Since we're doing ombre, we're dragging it down a little bit, right? So I'm gonna kinda, and this is how you do the ombre without highlights. You drag it down and then I'll take a couple pieces and I'll paint long ways. So now that we're moving to the back, this is where it gets complicated to apply it on your own. What I like to do is part all the way down the middle, all the way down the middle in the back, and spread it out so you have two quadrants. And then, even if you're doing it yourself, you can reach back with the back of your brush, take a section about a half an inch wide, and then apply your color. You can do this without really seeing it too well. Just look in the mirror, and you know, generally you're gonna get all the hair if you're taking like a half an inch or an inch sections. And then that's all you do, work all the way down, and then you're gonna move to the other side, the other quadrant, and you're gonna do the same thing. This is the most important part for the ombre. I've applied the root color, and I'm back to her regular part. And now I'm gonna show you how to paint little pieces down to get the ombre effect. So I'm just gonna use what's already on the root, drag it down a little bit, drag it down a little bit, not all over. You want some space, some light pieces coming through, right? But see how it's just dragging it down? I see we have a light piece right here I'm not getting anything on. So I'm just dragging down next to it. Because ombre is not about solid dark, solid light. It's about having different pieces gradating throughout. Don't do too much, don't drag it down too much around the face because you want more lightness around the face. And that's all you do. Now she's gonna process for about 30 more minutes and we're done. Okay, so we're done with Meg and as you can see her hair looks great. Um, super natural. So a little darker up top and basically pulling it down with those little lines, it makes it totally blend perfectly so it doesn't look like it's dark to light. It's like a flow. Yeah. So what do you think? How do you feel oh, about it's it? So, it's perfect, it's literally perfect. So like, I don't know, you hub it up a second ago. Like do you see like how much of a difference it is? But when it's down, it's just like darker, especially around my face. And that's mm -hmm. cool because it's more flattering. It looks better on me when I have like darker on my face, mm -hmm. but I still want to have like ends and be able to say like I'm blonde. Yeah, and this is perfect yeah. for anybody who has um, hair that's faded from the sun over the summer and now they want ombre but they don't want to do highlights. Just darken your base color like two shades and drag those pieces down like I showed you and you'll have ombre at home. Super yeah. easy.